everyone, it's Karen here. It's been a long time since I uploaded to this channel. Um, stuff has happened and I'm not going to get into it now because what I do want to get into is the video. All I say up front is that this is not a paper crafting video. While I've been away, I've gone in other directions with my crafting and just lately I have been getting to grips with laser cutting and engraving. So today I want to share unboxing and some of the first projects with my brand new X-Tool F1 laser. So let's get going. Here they finally are, my F1 laser and the air purifier. I've been waiting about eight weeks since I pre-ordered these and I am really, really excited that they're here at last. So the first thing I notice is that everything is very, very well packed and that is just what I've come to expect from X-Tool. So I'm going to pull it all out and open everything up. As well as the F1 itself, I've got the instruction manual, a lens cloth, power cord and adapter, a metal platform which is used when cutting, an exhaust hose, a spare USB key and a pack of sample material. To finish unpacking the laser I'm going to take off the protective tape and film and underneath the shield I can see uh, packing material so I'm going to get that out of the way. And there are some more parts that are packed inside the foam. First of all, there's the platform that fits inside the base of the machine. And there's what they're calling an L-shaped piece that is used for helping to place materials to keep them straight and stop them moving around. Next step is to take off the lens cap. This is the metal plate. They call it the triangular prism. So that's what that is. Before I can use my F1, on the left hand side there is a big red emergency stop button which is pressed in for safety during transit. So to release it I just need to twist it in a clockwise direction. And if you ever need to use the emergency stop you will also need to twist it again to release the button before you can carry on. Guess how I know this? All I need to do now is to remove the bits of tape that I missed, connect the power cord and the USB cable. Uh, it's worth noting here that the USB socket to connect to the computer is on the side of the machine, on the left hand side, uh, so not the one that I was using here. That is the one that connects to the air purifier. And then the exhaust hose just pushes onto the socket at the back and all I need to do now is connect it to my computer and plug it in and I'm good to go. Before I can begin to use the machine, I have to get it to talk to my computer. So to do that, I'm using a piece of software called Xtool Creative Space, which I've downloaded from uh, Xtool's website and I've installed the latest version and I've connected the F1 to my computer with a USB cable. Uh, at the moment XCS is set up to work with my D1 laser so I need to change that. To do that I'm going to click on the connect device button up at the top right of the screen. Once the software finds the F1 under the USB tab, I can click on that to accept it. But, of course, there's a firmware update, so I'm going to speed this bit up. And there we are. I'm ready to begin burning. Simple as that. 
Before you can start cutting with the laser, you need to make sure that it's in focus. And to do that, uh, there is a knob on the left hand side of the machine, which you twist and it turns and lowers or raises the laser head. So that you know when the laser is focused, there are two colored dots, a red one and a blue one, that coincide when the laser is focused. So you try to make two points into one. Uh, unfortunately, mine weren't positioned properly and they wouldn't line up. So I messaged Xtool and they came straight back to me with a fix for the problem. So let's give that a go. First of all, in the XCS software, I click on init and that raises and lowers the laser head and leaves it in, I suppose, is a neutral position. Now, without moving the focus, I need to find the ball head at the bottom of the laser head. And there is a hole which is next to where the red light is uh, comes out of. So I'm using a screwdriver and I'm placing it in that hole and using it to move the ball head around. And as I do that, uh, it will move the, the red dot. I found it needs a firm pressure to, to make it uh, move at all. It's not a screw action. I spent ages twisting the handle of the screwdriver and wondering why nothing was happening. Um, so I just kept on moving the light until it was in the right place and now I can focus my laser. So now that's sorted out, I can use the focusing knob on the side of the machine to, to set the focus correctly and all I need to do is to twist it until the red dot and the blue dot overlap. Uh, I got my cork coaster, which is going to be my first project, centred as best as I can on the plate of the machine and uh, I've imported the image that I want to use into XCS and resized it to fit my project. So I'm going to use the recommended settings for engraving basswood because there isn't a setting for cork, so I'm kind of guessing here. To make sure my image is positioned properly, there's a button on XCS that says framing, so I'm going to hit that. And it uh, kind of shines a, a blue rectangle over uh, where the image is going to burn. And I can adjust. If I prefer, I can change the a type of framing to show me the actual outline of the image and I, that is so very cool so I can see pretty much exactly where it's going to go and I can adjust the position of the court coaster to get it uh, as centered as best as I can. So once I'm happy with the positioning uh, after I've closed the screen of the F1 I go back to SCS and I hit start I get a confirmation on the next screen and once I've clicked that button, I then push the button on the side of the F1. done XCS shows me this screen and I can take the finished project out of the machine and have a look at it and the whole thing it tells me took me one minute and 24 seconds that's fast and this is the final result and I have to say that I was so impressed with how fast this machine is I haven't even scratched the surface of the the capabilities of the F1 I'm still very much learning uh, what it can do, but I'm going to leave this video here for today. So thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to give a, a thumbs up and let me know if you'd like to see more about my adventures in lasering. Uh, but for now, goodbye.